The Queen Mother lived a long life, dying in 2002 just a few months shy of her 102nd birthday. But it seems she played with fire when it came to eating fish as on two occasions she was taken to the hospital after bones were lodged in her throat. Etiquette expert Grant Harold worked for King Charles for seven years during which time he also took care of other members of the royal family, including Prince William, Prince Harry, and Kate, Princess of Wales. He recalled the incident when discussing how one must be careful when eating fish, as the Queen Mother learned the hard way. While the frightening incident saw the Queen Mother, who was then in her 80s, undergo an operation, she managed to remain in good spirits and is said to have cracked a joke. Queen Mother's hilarious warning against Elizabeth having a second cocktail speaking on behalf of Slingo, Mr. Harold reiterated the importance of taking care when eating fish ensuring no bones are swallowed. He said, I think you need to be careful eating fish because you don't want to swallow fish bones. It once happened to the Queen Mother and she had to be taken to hospital. You have to do anything to remove it because it can be very dangerous. Mr. Harold, an etiquette expert, said the aim is to remove any bones in as graceful and elegant manner as possible. In 1982, the Queen Mother spent four days in King Edward VIII Hospital, London, after having an operation to remove a fish bone that had become lodged in her throat. The 82-year-old choked on a bone during dinner at the Royal Lodge in Windsor, the residence where Prince Andrew now lives. Don't miss! King is masking a smile at Ascot as expert says he doesn't want to be there, analysis, Camilla made a subtle tribute to Queen Elizabeth II and Queen Mother at Ascot, report, and ball in myth debunked as historian shows Elizabeth I traumatized by death, insight, her physician Dr. John Clayton had recommended that she be taken to hospital and undergo emergency surgery which she did, accompanied by her daughter Princess Margaret. However, it is said that the keen angler remained positive, managing to muster a joke as she said, the salmon got their own back. The surgery was a success and Clarence House made a statement at the time which read, the Queen Mother, was admitted to King Edward VII Hospital for officers in the early hours of this morning for the removal of a foreign body which had lodged deep in her throat. This was performed successfully under a general anesthetic. Her Majesty is making good progress and should be home within 48 hours. But just four years later, at the age of 86, King George VI's window had been enjoying eating fish every day of her holiday in Scotland when another bone got lodged in her throat. The Queen Mother had been enjoying a three-week holiday in the royal residence she bought and restored in Scotland, the Castle of Moy, in 1952 in the wake of the death of her husband. Her spokesperson told the press at the time that she had been in discomfort after dinner. She was then flown to the Aberdeen Royal Infirmary in a Royal Air Force helicopter on August 15. However, she had been well enough to enjoy lunch with her daughter Queen Elizabeth II and other members of the royal family who were visiting Scotland on board the Royal Yacht Britannia that day, 